Hello my dear learner welcome back to the online shine with learning the competitive and derivative market in this video we going to learn how to calculate the fair value of the future price so let's start with a formula the formula of the calculation of future price equal to the spot price plus cost of the carry or you can say the cost of its expenses now let's see with the help of one illustration the cost of the a 10 gram gold in the spot market is rupees 30000 the local rate for storing gold is the a rupees 300 for 3 month and the insurance for the a Same is rupees one fifty. If the prevailing interest rate is ten percent per annum, calculate the fair value of the one future contract. So, if this question has to be the spot price and cost of carry, like the local rent and our insurance, thus we have to take an interest rate. So, let's start with the help of a formula. So, we have to take the fair value and the spot price plus cost of carry. As I told you, this is the cost of carry. That is local rent and a insurance into the interest rate. Or the money calculated the information regarding the interest rate. So, just put the value of spot price, which we have to be about thirty thousand rupees, and the local rent. Price, local rent, and insurance. That is thirty thousand hundred and one. Total is thirty thousand four hundred. Okay. Now, if we look about the uh, interest, interest we have given the uh, interest we have a ten percent. So ten percent, ten percent. It means hundred. Okay. Ten divided by hundred, so you will get. Okay, we divide it first one. This zero point one zero divided by four is zero point zero two one. Okay, then add it. We will get the answer of zero point one point zero two five. Okay, and then multiply thirty thousand four fifty. So the answer is thirty one thousand two hundred eleven point two five pesa. It means that the fair value of the ten gram gold. Is thirty one thousand two hundred point two five. Okay, I hope uh, you will understand this. And this is very simple. Just uh, write the formula and substitute it. Let's see the other example. If the a calculation the a fair value of shares of ABC Limited of three month future contract with the help of the a following, we have to take the spot price and interest rate. Part, okay. In this question, we don't have to give the cost of the carry, so you can write or you can not be right. Okay. So let's start with the a formula. We have given the a fair value of a future equal to spot price plus cost of carry. Okay. But in this question, we don't have to give the information regarding the cost of carry, so you can write or you can not be a right. Okay. If you want to the right, you can put the a value of zero. The interest for the earning. So let's substitute the value. We have given the spot price two fifty. So just write the two fifty here. Okay. And then again one 
plus interest rate. We have given the interest nine percent. So again, nine divided by hundred. Okay, so you will get zero point zero nine into three divided by twelve. Okay, because we have given the per annum in the twelve month, we have given the rate. So we only want to know the three month. Contracted one. 
and what will be the price of the one unit of the new two month? Okay, one unit of new two month future contract on SBI if no dividend are expected during that two month. Okay, we have to calculate the two month uh, future contract and assuming the spot price is SBI is two to eight. So uh, again, we don't have to bring in this question the cost of carry like the uh, any charges or any brokerage or any extra fees. Okay. A formula the fair price equal to spot price interest of the R two months. Say we have to substitute the value we have given the spot price two to eight. Okay, and the interest is again one plus zero point zero point one six. Okay, zero point one six we have given the interest R. Okay, so sixteen divided by hundred is seen like zero point one six into. Two months we have given and divided by twelve because this is giving in per annum. Okay, now just solve this. Uh, this is one upon six. Okay, one upon six. So zero point one six into if we do uh, this is zero point one six. Okay, so just divide it by six. So you will get zero point. Thank you so much for the uh, watching this video.